All right, ladies and gentlemen, as requested by a few of you, I'm going to make a short little walkthrough video on how you can use Google Maps to find your elevation and also to create your route for your PBL topographic map assignment. All right, so here I am at the Jerry Knight STEM Academy. There's me right here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move out from kind of the metropolitan area where there's lots of streets and stuff and I'm gonna move let's move down here around Cleburne all right so the first thing that you will want to do is you will want to turn your terrain on and you do that by going over to menu and just clicking terrain and when you do that terrain will appear here and you should see contour lines now, if you're not seeing contour lines, it's possible you're zoomed in too close. If you zoom in too close, the contour lines disappear. Um, as you're doing this, you'll probably want to kind of find a sweet spot where you're not so far out that you can't make out the different contour lines, but you're not so close that the contour lines disappear. All right, so um, what we're going to do uh, for, for my example here is I'm actually going to use... Uh, I'm going to use this lake here, and we're actually going to bypass the lake on our route. All right, so oh, remember for this assignment, you're going off road. All right, so I'm going to say that we were on 67, US 67, but I did not want to drive over the bridge because maybe the aliens had it if you have alien invasion, or maybe the zombies have it, who knows. So I'm going to go around the bridge. All right, so I need to I need to create a route around the bridge. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click where the the edge of the road is. All right, now you've got two things you can do here. You can start by doing the directions, which will help with the elevation, or you can measure the distance, which will actually show you the actual route. So I'm actually going to start with measure distance, and when you first right click and measure distance, you'll notice that nothing happens. You have to click another point. And I'm going to click the point. Actually, I'm just going to go right here at the top of this hill. Distance to here. And then my line will appear. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, right click, directions from here, and then directions to here. And when I do that, it's going to populate the directions with those two points. Okay. Now a couple of things. When you first do this, it's going to default to driving and you want to change it over to walking. All right. The other thing that will happen is that it will actually route you on the road. And so what we're about to look at really only has value for the starting point and the ending point. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over where it says mostly flat, do the drop down arrow, and this actually shows me a graph, a line graph um, of the, the elevation change. Okay. So and what I want you to see here is as I move my mouse along the walking route, you can see the points on the line graph, okay? Well, that's not where I'm actually traveling. So this information in the middle is not useful. I only need this starting point and this ending point, okay? Now, um, so the way I'm gonna look at this is I'm going to say, okay, my starting point is here and then mm -hmm. the elevation rises, and then my ending point's at my lowest elevation, all right, which is 774 feet. So my starting point is somewhere between 794 and 774. And because it's such a small increase, there's not a big, there's, you know, it's not huge, I'm going to, um, well, actually I can use this, and this, this will tell me that it goes up seven feet, so my starting elevation is this high elevation minus seven. That's my starting point, okay? And again, you're, you're estimating a little here, so if your numbers are not 100% precise, that is okay. We're really just trying to learn how to interact with these maps. So, that, so I've got my starting height, which is 794 minus seven, um, which is, what is that, 787? So 787 is my high point, and then 774 is my low point, and also um, my ending point. And that's the first section, okay? And then what I'll need to do is on my map, I will need to continue 
measuring. Now the nice thing about the measurement tool is when I add a measurement, it actually just extends the route. And so I can create my route all around. And once I get to a point where I hit five miles, then I can get back on the road, all right? And I may have to stay off road for a little while in order to get five miles. Now, as I'm doing this, as you do each of these points, you will need to go through and add as a destination. And then I'm gonna take this first destination off and now I'm gonna look at the elevation from these two points. And this will get pretty quick for you. You'll be able to figure this, start to figure this out pretty quick. Like I know here, starting elevation for this point, 774. Ending elevation is 735. Um, and you can, use, you can also use the up-downs over here to kind of tell you what's the high point, uh, what's the difference in the starting point, high point, and then what's your low point. All right, and you just need to go through and find those. Now, when it comes time to, when it comes time to actually create your map, you're going to need this measurement tool. Okay, and then what you can do is you can take a screenshot, which is what I'm about to do now, and I can leave the directions open because I'm just going to crop it out anyway. So I can take a screenshot, go into PowerPoint, paste my screenshot, and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so it's a little bit more manageable size. And then I want to crop out the stuff I don't need, so I'm going to crop this. Crop over to probably about right here. And I think I'll crop up a little bit. And I may even blow this up a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. All right, and then I'm going to go back into my map and I'm going to kind of move down to the next section. Take another screenshot. Go back into PowerPoint. And again, you can use whatever you want. I like to use PowerPoint just because um, I'm used to it. I know where all the buttons are, so it's pretty easy to, to maneuver and manipulate. But you can use whatever you want as long as you can drop a photo in it and manipulate it. So I'm going to shrink this down. This will become a little bit annoying when you try to put these things together because you're making sure you scale it correctly. Like I'm off a little bit right there. That road up there should be connected here. But you're just kind of putting a puzzle together. So see how I'm connecting this contour line, connecting on this road right here. And then you're just going to do that until you've got your completed route. All right, so you may have to take three or four screenshots. It may only take you, you know, two or three, just depending on how zoomed in or out you are. Um, but that is how you will create your map using Google Maps for this assignment.